The interesting thing about AI agents is that one particular kind of AI agents has found like product market fit and has coding AI agents. As you're probably familiar with all these uh, logos, Cloud Code, Bolt, Lovable. And the interesting thing about all of them is that they all need sandboxes. And they need sandboxes because you need to run um, untrusted code. And there are different ways for you to run untrusted code. Um, one, you can run it on your bare machine, but as we all know, um, you know, on arbitrary code on your machine is probably not the greatest idea. So, um, because of you know some attacks that you could um, encounter, like prompt injection vulnerabilities, supply chain attacks, um, malicious code generation. I mean, the AI agent could be generating any kind of code, you're not super sure. And that's why we have the human in, in the loop thing. And also workspace pollution, right? So sometimes you, you just don't want it to generate coding within your workspace. You want, you want your workspace clean. And um, these are the reasons why we need sandboxes. So one of the things you could try is you could try and run it in containers. Um, but containers have their limitation. Um, so the thing about containers is that um, they run um, on your host kernel. Um, that is, they run directly on your host kernel. You're just uh, creating these C groups and namespaces to prevent, um, to kind of like create a sandbox around the applications that you're running and to give them a new namespace. Um, but uh, the problem with this idea is that um, any vulnerability uh, within the Docker engine itself can just leak into the host operating system. So, yeah, and that brings us to um, a new way. I mean, it's not new, but it's it's recent. 